Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your farm hand system as well as how to gain access to your farm hand menu. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll also be leaving my affiliate link and Patreon link in the description below. All right, let's get into the video. So for the farmhand system, your character will need to have a home built already. You'll need to walk up to the nameplate and press H. To activate the farmhand, you'll need to have 20 tax certificates in your inventory and you cannot mix and match the bound ones and the unbound ones. So this is the default farmhand that you will get upon activating it. To access the farmhand menu, you'll need to be on your house plot and press shift H. You can change the farmhand's name. You can see that there's a little bit of a system here. So the farmhand takes vigor points, which you can transfer the first initial amount two times, and then you can replenish this through the marketplace, which I will show you how to get there in a moment. The farmhand also takes labor, which shares with your character. So you can see I gave it 500 and it took 500 labor points from myself. These are the level benefits. So as you level the farmhand up just by using them, more benefits are added to them overall. Once they hit level 10, they will unlock more tasks that they can do at one time. So here is where you can purchase the Vigor Replenishment Treats. These are the Vitalizing Treats. They're under Diligence and Housing. It's 15 Diligence, but you get three of them. And one of the treats restores 1000 Vigor. So each day you can purchase one and max out the Vigor on the farmhand. Also, there is a free customization Power Stone pet in the Gifts menu. You will just need to Put it in your inventory, reopen the farmhand menu, and in the bottom portion you'll see a mirror. You'll just need to right click on it, confirm, and you can see we now have the fairy. You can do this with any Power Stone pet that you own. So the farmhand can also be equipped with equipment, which you can purchase from the marketplace. There are the individual packs as well as the larger pack for a little over 8,000 credits that will give you all of them. To set up the farm first you'll need to hit the select farm option and then it'll bring you to this menu. So for this you'll need to actually have the farm design in your inventory. Here I'm going to have to demolish this farm in order to get my farm hand activated. So then you'll hit select farm and you can see it gives us the option to put that in there. You'll hit confirm and you will now be able to assign a task. So the farm hand can do livestock, trees, seeds. It just kind of depends on what you're wanting your farm hand to focus on. So for this one, I'm just going to give them a bunch of my trees. And then at the bottom, you're going to want to set the quantity because right now it's only recognizing that I want it to tend to one tree. So I'm going to max this out, tell it to start. And then you can see here, it will tell you how long it will take in order for it to finish. Once that's done, you'll be able to trade the farmhand for the materials and kind of start the process all over again. 